Holy ghost of Christmas past. Yes, over the Christmas time break, Erno What's His Name published an essay that was absolutely guaranteed to enrage grassroots conservatives. Why? Well, I guess you can't teach an old dog new tricks. How sad O'Toole could have won the 2021 federal election. During the first two weeks of the campaign, Justin Trudeau endured two very, very bad weeks, whereas O'Toole was quite stellar. But then, inexplicably, O'Toole began flip-flopping on everything from carbon taxes and the gun grab to vaccine mandates. And results, so many disgruntled conservative voters simply stayed home and another victory for the Justin Trudeau liberals emerged absolutely pathetic. In any event, we received a metric ton of feedback regarding O'Toole's astonishing essay urging conservatives to, you know, play nice with a scandal-plagued prime minister who admires the basic dictatorship of communist China. Unbelievable. RMB Unicorn writes, maybe he's preparing to cross the floor. Well, you know, if that's the case, RMB Unicorn, very well then. Good riddance. That's where he belongs. And after all, we can't have a functional conservative party with members who are conservative in name only. Robert Pariseau writes, Now does anyone else here understand exactly why the establishment adores this dude so much? Good point, Robert, but that's another reason why O'Toole is such a loser. He constantly seeks the approval of the establishment, but when he was the leader of the Conservative Party, he should have been seeking the approval of Conservative voters. And alas, thanks to O'Toole being so wishy-washy, and thanks to him being a closet liberal, so many Conservative voters simply stayed home on Election Day 2021. That was a tragedy. Ron A. writes, O'Toole, have you forgotten so quickly what Trudeau and his little band of liars did to legal protest and the Canadian patriots from across the country? Vilified, criminalized, jailed for daring to stand up to Trudeau, the absolute ruler. There is a reason you are not leader. Well said, Ron. But again, O'Toole is more concerned with F. Trudeau flags. I wonder if O'Toole shops at French Connection United Kingdom. That's the store that goes by the abbreviation of FC UK. Ooh, probably a little too risque for Lady Erin, I would imagine. And finally, Dan Adam writes, this is the same guy who made the Parliament Hill porta potty video. Bad taste. Now he doesn't like it? You know, brilliant point, Dan. I had completely forgotten all about this absolute embarrassment. You know what? Let's roll that video right here to remind one and all what Aaron O'Toole considers to be a class act. We're going to move Justin Trudeau out of this office into a more appropriate office. Justin Trudeau. We've got something lined up all ready for <laughs> Brilliant toilet humor. Even the audio was crap, no pun intended. Well, then again, I guess it's only fitting. How embarrassing, yet O'Toole thinks this was appropriate? What a hypocrite. Hey folks, that was an excerpt from my show, Rebel Roundup. Now, to get the full meal deal, why not go to Rebel News Plus, sign up, and never miss a Rebel News Plus show in the future.